Hey, what's going on everyone? It's Lamar here. Both watch another episode of The Boys. This is season two, episode two. Nothing like it in the world. And a quick recap of what happened last episode. Basically, it was just like the fallout from like last season, essentially. Or like kind of a culmination of that and, and learning more about like what's going on now. Essentially, The Boys, they're basically like wanted criminals in America right now for the killing of Miss Stillwell. Even though they had like the reenactment of that whole situation. And it was just... Because Butcher did blow up the area. But Homelander was the one who lasered Miss Stillwell and killed her. But because of Homelander, like, everyone's just going to believe Homelander. Homelander tried to, you know, run the Seven. He tried to, like, run Vaughn, like, the way he wanted to do. But learned out that Mr. Edgar ain't about that. He's not about that whatsoever. He just laid down, like, that situation and said, No, this is what Vaughn is. You are basically a test subject. So knock it off with the child instead of you running around giving this compound all the way all over the world because they know what you did. And we don't need that. Right. Uh, there's a new hero, uh, Stormfront. Not sure where her powers are yet, but she came in. The first time they tried to introduce a, a super, they put it into the Seven. It was like a, a guy named Blindspot who was bas basically... It was really weird because he didn't actually have any powers. He was just had like accuracy with weapons. So I'm assuming he was like kind of similar to... What I literally thought Black Noir was, like someone who's, you know, super accurate and super like deadly and all that stuff, but he's not, not even close. Because Black Noir basically took an explosion and just like, oh, okay, my body was kind of like, it's kind of scratchy a little bit and he just healed back up. And then chopped off uh, the super terrorist Nahib, I think his name was, Kahib, no, Khabib, Khabib, I think, right? Chopped his head off and brought it back. So, Black and Warrior has some type of super generated powers, or like kind of almost like maybe invulnerable or something, because he got blown up, and it's just like a oh, little scratches on me a little bit, oh, little scratches here and there. So, was, that was really interesting. Uh, Reyna, the, the, the deputy director of the CIA, her head got blown up. I'm not sure by who. If it was either bought or someone who was like watching her, or it's like someone like, like a super did it or something. I'm not, I'm not sure. Like, they didn't really say it. It's just her head exploded. I mean, she was like talking about. Like, what was going on in Vaughn? So, learning about that. Uh, we got Butcher. He finally came back, funny, at the end. Um, but, yeah, like, Huey and, like, Starlight trying to, like, work together to try to, like, secretively take down Vaughn from, like, the inside and all that. But, you just, like, playing this game and trying to figure out where, what's the next bunch of steps and trying to figure out where you're going. It's pretty crazy. Oh, Ashley, the, the assistant from before, she is now taking Miss Stillwell's spot, even though... Basically, Homelander's like, yeah, I don't, I don't care what you have to say. Like, run everything by me. But you know, Miss Egg is not about it. So we'll, we'll see how this, this turns out. We'll see where all this, these episodes go to. We'll see what this is leading up to. So I can't, I can't wait. Oh, there's new soup terrorists that came uh, in, in uh, into, into, into America. And basically, I don't know. He is like, I don't know if it's just telekinetic abilities or he does something else. But he was able to like lift up a boat, like slam it on a guy, like destroy his arm and stuff. But I'm not sure if like what his actual abilities are. Like right now, they look like the like, telekinetic kind of sort of. But hopefully, it'll, it'll describe that. It'll like list that all up. So, before that being said, I'm uh, pretty sure that's all I can say right now. But you know, see you watching. I see where we're going to now. So next episode. Oh, and Homeland just brought him back to a spot and left him. Hi, welcome to Endless Costa Rica, Tony Cicero. What fucking city am I in? Uh, Fort Wayne. You've got a bit of paper, something I can write with. A pin, anything. Oh, you wrote it all down to remember what happened. Remember where it was. allegedly murdering Vaught Vice President Madeline Stillwell, as well as endangering her infant son. Law enforcement officials have set up a tip line and are urging anyone to <laughs> Just gonna walk out of here. We'll ride him off. 
Where are you going? Going to make a contact. Who? Someone who can help us find a so terrorist cunt. Who is the contact? What is their actual name? You'll love it. No, I won't. I won't love it. I never love it. Never fucking love it. No. You left us for dead, and now it's like nothing happened? You're right. I am sorry. Sorry that I trusted this lot was smart enough to save themselves like they've done a hundred times before. Okay, well, where you been? Well, technically, I call them back. He blew up Madeline Stillwell. I told ya. She was already dead when I blew her up. Oh, great. <laughs> cool. Totally. We're just gonna pretend like this is normal? Like we're fucking lemmings? Well, who else are they gonna follow? Right. Okay, Ryan. You use your powers. What do you mean? You can't do that. Yes, you can. Has anyone told you what you're capable of? We thought it was best that he have as ordinary of a childhood as possible. We? Who's we? Look, I just want my kid to be normal. Well, then it's a good thing I'm here, because my son is the furthest fucking thing on this planet to a normal little boy. How long are you planning on staying? Becca, let's just try and be civil, shall we? It's so confusing. There's no correct or incorrect answer. I don't know what the fuck you want from me. Hey, guys. Why do you keep bringing fresh goods? How's it going? I don't think there's a path here. Leave it to me. See, you're just inhibited by suppressive energy. That's it. Just gotta realign things. Oh, he's gonna trip. He's gonna trip hard. Hello? Okay. I gotta go. What? No, this is a moment. Girls, get it done. You are not... <laughs> You think you can surprise me? I literally taught you this one. Hello, Grace. Oi, where you go? I'm gonna turn you in for the murder of Madeline Stillwell. Come off it, Grace. You really think I've done that? You really want me to answer that? Grace, I know who killed Rainer. Who? We think Vault killed her for getting too close to something. Getting too close to who? Something to do with a suit terrorist smuggled in the jersey a couple of nights ago, and that is where we start. Hey. Hey. Igor? Hey. In here, open up. Bro, we gotta talk. Oh, yeah, right, right. It's the, it's the shrooms. No, it's the shrooms doing it. Look right. At look at us. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Shut up. You shut the fuck up, you ugly piece of shit. We won't let you shut us up anymore, Kevin. Hey. Hey. Kevin. Hey. Hey. Let me out, man. Is Kevin? Just let me out. Well, Stormfront, congrats on the seven. Are you as excited to be here as I am? I don't know. I don't think so. <laughs> Can you tell us a little about how girls get it done? Can you repeat that, but say, strong is the new pretty right at the end? Do girls make better heroes? Why does it matter whether heroes have a dick or a vag? I mean, shouldn't we all just, you know, be competent at our jobs? I don't think girls do anything better. I think chicks and dicks are in it together. <laughs> Oh, that's me. <laughs> oh, wow. You can see every crease in my ass. You can practically see up Starlight's uterus. You want to talk about girl power? Let's talk about getting some pockets. <laughs> Starlight, your teammate A train has been out of the thought recently revealed that he was on a top secret mission in Kandahar. Are you worried about him? Yeah, of course. I pray for him every night. What if I told you he's right behind you? Okay, here comes the A-Train! What's up? Wow. wow. All right. Yeah. The A-Train's back. Get yeah, real. Hey, we were really worried about you. They told me you came by my room every day to pray for me. Thank you. Mm, you're so welcome. You should know that everyone thinks it was a really good idea that you called me in for backup that night. I mean... What would have happened if I hadn't been there to give you CPR? That's good to know. Mm. How does everyone feel about you helping your traitor fucking boyfriend escape? Ooh, it's getting it. Or maybe you didn't mention that part. Who did you mention that part to? Just had a meeting with the Colonel. Colonel Mallory? You saw her? That's right, Frenchie. She's gonna help us. We get her the suit terrorist. She's gonna get a CIA to scrub our records clean. How do we know you're telling the truth? 734, Central Ave, Newark. What does that mean? That's the address she gave me. It's linked to the blind bank account that smuggled that suit gun stateside. And I'll bet you he's there. 
Oh, my lord. Ain't you twice lucky that I showed up, eh? Melissa Dabrowski was more than just another finger bang, you know? No, 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 I'm the ugly one. No. Yes, on the inside. You just don't see what I see. No. To me. Is that Gil singing to him? You are so beautiful to me. <laughs> I'm not. Yeah. Everything, everything I, I hope for. You're everything <laughs> I need. Oh my god. I think uh, Cyclops, Cyclops dude's trying to get your attention. What happened to your eye? Here. I brought you a sample. Are you kidding me? I can't take this right now. I can't get away from this press junket. I literally have no pockets. I want the V. Here it is. If you threaten me again, I'm going to make sure that everyone knows that you're the one who took it. You got the V. Is that with Gecko? Hey, yeah. What'd you just put in your boot? What? Nothing. Because it looked like you just put something in your boot. Why don't you tell me what's in my boot? She put it in the bag. She put it in um, Stormfront's bag. She brushed up against it really slowly. Maybe you shouldn't be hitting the crystal with your buddies quite so soon. Come on. Let's finish dick tickling these half wits so we can finally do our real job. Yeah, see? Okay, does he just have a thing for milk in general? Wait, where are they? It's like a giant facility? Is she trapped in? I want to talk to Dr. Park. Go back inside the car. Damn it, Dr. Park, now! Hey, what the fuck is going on? I understand this is upsetting. I was told I would never have to see him ever again, that he would never know about Ryan or me. That was the deal. Homelander is quite upset that this information was concealed from him. Corbett has made a decision not to antagonize him further. You need to make him leave. Because if you don't, I'm gonna take Ryan, and I'm gonna run. How? You'll never fucking find us ever. How? You're in like a... I think we both know that that's not possible. Yeah, you're in like a... a contained area. You have to protect us. Just keep him calm. Our best guess, he'll get bored and move on. You don't know that. So it sounds like a wolf. You don't. He'll get bored and move on? Maeve, what are you doing here if nothing has changed? Homelander and I went to this Oscar party. There's this producer, he swapped place cards so he could sit next to me. And he chatted me up all night. Two days later, there's a fire in his office. They found his head in one room and his torso in another. What are you saying? Homelander ripped him in half. I don't want him to do that to you. Who? Homelander. Homelander? You think Homelander did that? If he ever finds out about you. I'm gonna kill you. Why are you telling Anymore. Can I tell you a secret, man to man? You know, and gods should not have to feel that kind of pain. Okay. Because that is what we are, Ryan. Homelander is very you and me. We're gods. Wow. Like, son, we can do anything. Can stop us. Now that that's a good feeling. A really good feeling. And now you and me can share it together. I love you, son. Say it back. Um, I I love you too. This is nice. It's a little creepy. Your turn, Mom. You need to leave. So feel free to tell Dr. Park to go fuck himself. I mean he does yeah, he has super hearing so he can hear you. Ooh. Ooh. Oh 
okay. Yeah. She knew him, I guess. Yep. Yep, she knew him. Liberation Army. She knew him. The ones who kidnapped you? You know this man? What is going on? Oh, it's her brother. Yeah, yeah, because I remember that from, from season one, like, her and her brother were kidnapped. Her brother? Yeah. That's what she was trying to tell me. Wait, 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 wait. It's her brother. Okay, cool. Congratulations. Oh, come on. Why do you care what I think? Oh, my God. Everyone is so fucking stage managed. Life isn't actually a PR strategy. You can say what you think. What if it's not safe? You are literally bulletproof. What the fuck is gonna happen? Okay. Who's the greatest superhero of all time? Homelander? No. Pippi Longstocking. Okay, well. Uh, I used to dress as her every Halloween, and all the girls dressed like Disney sluts would make fun of me, and you know what I thought? I thought, who fucking cares? Hmm. Pippi didn't care. She never cared about being polite or cute. Fuck this world for confusing nice with good. Be a bitch if you want. Be whatever. Just drop the mask once in a while. Feels good. You can finally breathe. Oh, and if someone sticks a dick in your mouth, Bite it off. <laughs> Pippi Longstocking would bite a D. That's for damn sure. <laughs> you fuck off. Rest you with me. Oh, come on, don't piss about. We ain't got all night. Fuck you waiting for? Are you telling me that her family is worth more to you than you see in your own? No, I'm not. Becca's alive. What? She's alive, Vault's holding a captive somewhere. But you're, if you... Uh, I'm not Stark Raven, all right? I fucking saw her. She had a little boy with her, right? Spitting in the your homelander. I thought he just wanted to humiliate me. Show me what he'd done to my girl before he gave me the good news. And then I woke up three hours later in a Tony fucking Sisyphus. God knows why. I gotta find her. And I gotta get her the fuck out of there. And I need your help to do it. Are you fucking with us? <laughs> I find the terrorist for Mallory. She finds Becca for me. That's the deal I made. What are you doing with this? This is not how it looks. Okay, it's just a misunderstanding. I just want you to think about me when you're getting the skin. Peeled off your face, bitch. You're not gonna tell anyone anything. Who says that I haven't already? Because then I'd already be dead. You're not gonna do shit. Why is that? Because you killed your fucking girlfriend. That's what you told Ooh. Huey, right? That you killed Popclaw? We can't prove anything. Did she suffer? Did you look into her big, sad eyes while you did it? Fuck you. Yeah, see, I looked at the VOT forensics report and all those needles jammed into her arm at the same time. I mean, one of them actually shattered the bone. Did you know that? Would someone really do that to themselves? I mean, doesn't look like an accident to me. I'm gonna take you down right with me. And then we'll both be dead. Go ahead. Fucking try it. I don't give a shit. You learned it. You learned a lot. I'm still in front. Good job. Oh, it's 
Because he's just like invincible, indestructible. <laughs> Cheers, love. At least someone's, someone's got some sense around here. <laughs> you come between me and my missus again, I'll fucking kill you. Man, I'm not surprised that happened. <laughs> Kid. Coming? Alright, it's getting interested. With you know Butcher making a deal with Mallory to give up uh what's his name? To give up uh Kimiko's brother to Mallory essentially so that he can get you know Becca out of that situation. Becca is like in some giant like facility apparently. I don't know if it's like a like a small town that's like blocked off and all that. But yeah, with Homelander, it's it's very interesting because he can get there no problem. And they, the group that's like that's there that's in charge, like Doctor Park or whatever, like they allow him to be there because you know they don't want to piss him off because he'll like. I guess rip right through him like like nothing, and Homer I just wants to basically like help raise his kid because he knows what it was like to be like raised with all that like hatred and anger because like people were just lying to him and like his whole life, so he didn't want that to happen, or he knows that that what's possibly gonna happen. So like making like another version of Homelander, because like the entire building, like, how it, how he like noticed all the cameras all around him, all that situation, so he knew that it was like a prison, like basically monitoring him. Just like when he was a kid being monitored all the time and like what it did to him. So, I, I don't know. I don't know how to, how to like, feel about that situation. And you got, you know, Stormfront who, she's not about the whole girl, like the girl power thing. He just wants people to be competent and do your jobs. That's all she really wants. And she, she read this interesting Sort of like with Pippi Longstockings and everyone else is dressed like, you know, princess and all that. And just, she didn't care because Pippi Longstockings didn't care. And that it was really good for Annie to like to hear that from someone else. Because I think that's what gave her the courage to stand up to A-Train. So he, she can get the V back. But you know, the fact that A-Train's back is it, really interesting because he is trying to, he's trying to manipulate, you know, Starlight. But thanks to... Uh, Stormfront, like Starlight's not having it. So it's just, it's just, it's just like, what is this all, what is this all doing? Like Maeve, like explaining to like her ex that, you know, the reason I guess she became so distant was because like Homelander killed a guy who was like being really flirty with her, and like burned his house down. Like that's that's all extreme Homelander can get. Just because I don't know, Homelander is just he's just a very interesting character. He just. It's very, it's very weird. Just like the the depth of who Homeland actually is, and trying to figure out what what is Homeland is about. Because like the the horrors that like he probably dealt with as a kid, and then like the lying and the manipulating and all that to get to that to this new level. It's just it's just really interesting. I figure out where where, where you go here now. Where, what's what's the next bunch of things to, like to add up to? Because the boys like I guess Huey because Huey wants to try to like lead the boys to try to, like you know burn down Vaughn and like get you know Annie out to rescue her and all that situation but he's doing it to the detriment of, of like the group like um like that super like, he could have killed them all right there but he didn't so I can understand where Butcher can, is coming from I can understand where, where you know Huey's coming from but it's it's that conflict that's they had to they had to they had to deal with that like you know Butcher end up punching Huey in the face I understand why because Butcher knows what he's trying to get. He's trying to like sort out that situation with Becca, but like just just learning about like how that's all connected and like the the, the game that's being played and how you're trying to like, you know do something for someone else and so you can get something back and like making the exchanges. 
it's really difficult to try to understand. And the only reason like Kimiko even even helped in the end because basically her brother was trying to stand up with the Shining Liberation Front, like with that, that terrorist group. So it's just it's just figuring out how this is all like like leveled and all that, but. I don't know. I, I can't wait to see the next episode. I can't wait to see how this like is building up because even with the deep like dealing with like his personal issues and figuring out why he treats people the way he does because like he feels so insecure about his like his body and all that. So seeing him like going on like, a trip with him, his talking gills and all that. I, I don't know. I, I just there's so many things just like going on. It's just like it's so cool to see how it's all developing. So I, I can't wait. I can't wait to see the next episode where it's all going. So you know, as always, you know, like, share, comment, subscribe, put all that stuff all down below. Any comments and stuff, put it all down below. And as always, I'll see you later. Take it easy.